In this video, I will explain how to calculate momentum and how to use the change of momentum equation. I'll also link this to car safety. Momentum is the quantity you get when you multiply mass and velocity. A heavy, fast moving object like a lorry on a motorway will have a lot of momentum, whereas a small, slow moving object like a snail has much less momentum. The equation for momentum is momentum equals mass times velocity. You may need to rearrange this equation to calculate either mass or velocity if the two other factors are known. For example, a lorry with a mass of 7,000 kilograms traveling at 30 meters per second will have a momentum of 7,000 times 30, which is 210,000 kilogram meters per second. Note the unit here is, is kilogram meters per second because we're multiplying something that's in kilograms by something that is in meters per second. To change the momentum of an object, a force has to be applied. A bigger force acting for a longer time can cause a greater change of momentum. The equation for this is change of momentum equals force times the time that that force is applied for. Let's return to the lorry from earlier. It needs to get up to 30 meters per second and the engine can only deliver 10,000 newtons of force. How long will it take to reach this speed? First, we need to work out the change of momentum we require. The starting momentum of the lorry is zero. This is because the velocity is zero and momentum equals mass times velocity. The final momentum we calculated earlier was 210,000 kilogram meters per second. Therefore, we need a change of momentum of 210,000 kilogram meters per second. Change of momentum equals force times time, so time equals change of momentum divided by force. So we get 210,000 divided by 10,000, which gives us 21 seconds. So to accelerate this lorry, we must apply a force of 10,000 newtons for 21 seconds. The lorry then hits a brick wall and comes to a complete stop within half a second. How much force will the driver experience? Our change of momentum is the same as before. Why? Well, the starting momentum is 210,000 kilogram meters per second, and the final momentum is zero because the lorry has stopped. So our change of momentum is again 210,000 kilogram meters per second. Change of momentum equals force times time, so force equals change of momentum divided by time, or 210,000 divided by 0 0.5, which will give us 420,000 newtons. That is a huge force, which is why cars and lorries have safety features, such as airbags, seat belts, and crumple zones. In a crash, we want to reduce the force experienced by our bodies, as this, can, this is what causes serious internal injuries. The force is affected by two factors, change of momentum and time. We cannot do anything to affect the change of momentum. The vehicle has to get from whatever momentum it started with down to zero. Therefore, all of these safety features work by slowing down the crash as much as possible so that the time that the accident takes is longer and therefore the force experienced is smaller. So to summarize, momentum is mass times velocity. Something with a lot of momentum is hard to stop, so it requires either a big force or for a force to act for a long time. Safety features in cars, such as airbags, seat belts, and crumple zones, are all designed to reduce the force experienced by the driver and passengers. This is done by extending the time that the crash takes.